Well on YouTube, this is Light123 with another training review and today we're going to be taking a look at a Triang model. And I've been saying for absolute years that I've wanted a Triang Jinty. I'm actually looking at getting the um, Battle Space one to go with the um, Exploding Coaches. I did a video quite a while ago on them. And um, this is pretty much just a video reviewing this one and a little bit of a story behind it as well. And I'll tell you about that just in a second. So I got this model um, when we were on holiday last year in um, Bournemouth. It was um, in a little antique shop. I can't remember the name of the little village. But um, I never thought I'd see some trying stuff in a um, small village um, antique shop. I mean, it was full of everything, really, from um, the usual kind of antique stuff to this sort of um, thing. But they had one tall cabinet with trying stuff in it. And um, out of the cabinet, I thought, well, I haven't got a gin tea. I'll have a gin tea and... Well, look what I bought another one of. Another Doc Shunter. Why? I don't really know why. But this video isn't about Doc Shunters, this is about gin teas. And, well, what better way to um, talk about it than to say how much I think it's just a brilliant model. I mean, um, yeah, it's a little bit um, scratched and scraped. But I paid about 20, I think it was 25 pounds for it, I mean, that's not bad I've been to many train fairs and they've been 40 in this sort of condition and I thought, wow, that's just ridiculous so I was very happy as you can see underneath, there's not all the um, blah blah that you get on all the modern Hornby stuff in the corner you can just see in very small letters there, trying railways and on the other side underneath there I don't think it's going to be able to focus in on that no, it's not it says built in Britain, so it hasn't travelled far from probably Margate where it was made, I believe. But yeah, I mean, I absolutely think it's a brilliant model. Lovely um, design as well. I mean, for the time period it was made, and you can't expect masses of detail, but you still get little brass um, whistles, and that's just brilliant to me. The whistle there, you can see right in the corner. I just think it's such a nice model and I love how simple it is to take apart. One screw in the top there brings the whole top off this local. If I bring in the more modern Hornby one, yep, the detail's up a bit more. There are more parts to it, whereas on the trying one it's moulded into the bodywork. But on this one, it's all clipped together from memory, I think. Yeah, I think this one was all clipped together and you have to try and get the clips out. There's only a couple of little screws underneath. It's a bit more complex to get apart, that one. I'm going to downrate it a bit. I've got to talk about the fact that there is absolutely no cabin detail whatsoever. You can actually, what you can see there, well, as I move it, is the motor just sticking out the back end of the motor with the magnet. It'll be this similar principle with the magnet just sticking out the top of the motor. A little bit disappointing, but that's the only fault I can really give it. I will warn you as well, before I take it over to the layout and give it a run, it isn't running great at the moment. I haven't had time to give it a service yet, but as soon as I service it, it should be running pretty well. And I think another problem at the moment as well is on the frog of the points, where the wheels, I haven't sanded them down a lot yet, it is going like that over the points and just sort of jumping up, which is then losing the power, and it's the momentum of the train that then brings it across the points. Obviously with the Hornby one, you're not going to get that problem but it is a lovely model and like I said at the beginning I really would like this in battle space livery I've been looking around for one for ages I saw one at a um, toy fair once but it was missing both the um, battle space stickers so it kind of put me off a little bit but having the exploding coaches now I just think that I'd really round it off I mean I tried um, I had a look at the um, battle space 040 but it's just not got the pulling power I don't think to take around the big heavy um, wagons so I think that's the problem that's why I didn't get it in the end and they're still quite expensive than themselves I'll tell you what I really would like is the um, battle space car with the propeller on the back of it I know um, I've seen a few on YouTube now and <laughs> that would just be absolutely brilliant 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 but as I go off topic once again as I always seem to in my reviews um, another great um, addition to both of these locos is the wider coupling system on both the wider tension lock. The only thing that I would um, downrate on the Hornby one is the fact that the wider tension lock on the Hornby one is um, made of plastic. On the trying one, is metal. When they couple up together, it has much better sound to metal um, couplings. 
than two plastic ones which just don't really make any sound at all which is um, a little bit disappointing I mean if you're going on detail I'd probably say go for the um, modern Hornby one if you're going on the nostalgia I'd go for the Trium one and another thing about the Trium one is, is the great noise it makes it does make a great noise as it goes around the track very impressive little model that and I would like the Battle Space one I'm going to keep harping on about it more and more because it's something I'm really looking forward to getting when I get one you lot will be the first to know I'm bound to do a video on it and I think it's time to take this train over to the layout and see just what it can do you'll notice it is very stop starty at the moment but it will get better as soon as I've given it a service, it will probably run almost perfectly. But for something so small, look at the quantity of coaches it can pull. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And that's pretty much it for today guys, so thank you very much for watching, and um, thank you for subscribing, anybody else who has, I'm going to have to check the channel because I haven't um, actually seen, but I have noticed a few more, so thank you to those people, thank you for everyone who keeps leaving comments because it's always nice to hear what you guys think, and I keep learning from a lot of you, you tell me stuff that I would never have had a clue of, and that's why I started YouTube really, it's all about gaining knowledge, and um having fun along the way so thank you very much for watching everybody I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you all soon